it's Sarah. So I have this travel album that I've been working on a little bit, more kind of thinking about it than working on it actually. Um, but I started to put together some photos from trips that we've taken and I wanted to just kind of put it all in one place. So I started a nine by 12 album. I actually don't even have the album yet, um, but I started putting together just some of the layouts. I have this one here from San Luis Obispo, which I'm probably gonna end up changing around. I definitely haven't completed it yet, and um, I'm probably gonna be switching out some of the pockets and everything, because I'm not completely happy with this yet. Um, but I've noticed that nine by 12 is actually quite a bit more challenging for me than working on six by 12. So it's kind of fun, kind of frustrating sometimes, but I'm, I'm working through it. It's, it's a good challenge. So um, what I wanted to do today is do a process video on what will be my cover, my very first page of the album. And so I'm not completely sure what I'm going to do here. Um, I know for sure that I want to use these two photos. I have this photo of my husband and I um, when we were at Yosemite and then a photo of us holding hands in the plane. Um, and I just feel like these two photos definitely represent travel for us about being together um, and exploring new places. And so I know I want to use those. But other than that, I have some cards here um, from Studio Calico, some Kelly Perky cards, just kind of a random stash there, as well as um, a bunch of different sort of travel theme stamp sets that I may end up using, I may not, I'm not quite sure. Um, some flair, I have some um, inks and some other little embellishments, but yeah, we're just going to kind of see where this goes and hopefully you enjoy this process. All right, so the first part of my process probably looks a little bit manic. Um, I like to go through all of my cards and kind of pick out my colors. Before I started filming this video, I kind of did a once through of all my cards and um, picked out anything that was travel related and just some bold prints. I didn't know what color I was going to go with. Um, since I'm using black and white photos here, it kind of opens up the possibilities for colors. Um, if I have colored photos, then I kind of know what direction I need to go. Um, but here, the options were kind of endless. So um, I had fun with that, but I tried not to kind of dwell on it too much and just kind of go with my instincts and I chose that bright yellow color there and I kind of thought these were the cards that I was going to go with. Um, you'll see I end up switching out that black and white striped card and actually bring in like a dark turquoise color um, to kind of contrast with that yellow and just bring in a little bit more color. So I decided I wanted to make my own journaling card here. Um, and so I'm using this Feed Your Craft stamp. It's this giant stamp um, that's just a journaling card and very simple. And I stamped it onto kind of like a grid card. It was a very subtle dot grid. Um, and then I'm using some of the little icon stamps from that same stamp set. Um, so I have a plane there and a car and a camera and I just stamped those in yellow ink to match that card um, down below. I knew I wasn't going to do any journaling on this card but I kind of wanted to bring in a sentiment um, so I thought I would do collect moments not things. Um, and I ended up not being able to fit, well, you'll kind of see. I, I tried to fit in not things. I tried writing it in there. I tried using different stamp sets, but it just ended up not working out. It didn't really fit. Um, so I'm stamping collect things using this Southport alphabet stamp set from Kelly Perky. This is probably one of my most used alphabet stamp sets. It's a serif font and it's just, I love how thin the letters are. They fit perfectly on journaling cards and in mini books and it's just definitely a go-to for me. I think it's the only serif font that I, I have um, in a stamp set collection. I tend to gravitate towards like the bold letters and the sans serif, but this, this one definitely is, it's a favorite. 
and I'm using a darker blue color and I think that's kind of when I started thinking I might bring other blue elements into um, other areas on my page. I just kind of liked how those two colors, the yellow and the blue, contrasted each other. So there's that. I'm kind of playing around with it. I thought maybe I would use that little um, I travel not to go anywhere, that little card at the right hand side um, in Christine Heron's beautiful brushed uh, script. thought I might bring that in there, but ended up not working out. So, um, And here I thought I would stamp Travel Buddies directly onto the photo in white, but it ended up not giving it enough contrast against the photo, so I just stamped it in black on this white card and um, trimmed it to be kind of like a banner and then adhered it down um, which I actually didn't do until the end um, just because I kind of like to place as much stuff into my uh, or around my pockets before actually adhering anything down because I tend to move things around and I was just pulling up so many things if I started adhering things in the beginning process so so here's where I kind of thought, I was playing around with this label from a, a Kelly Perky set and I kind of thought I would put it there at the bottom of that collect moments card and I thought I might stamp out not things um, and then I kind of moved away from that and moved to a different card because I wasn't sure that was going to work out. So I'm working on that yellow card now, and I wanted to stamp this um, Let's Be Adventure sentiment. This is from a Studio Calico kit. I think it was from the Lost River, the September kit. Um, so I liked how that looked on there, just very simple. Stamped it on a white card and cut it out and then just put it towards the bottom. Um, and then I went through my cards again because I thought that I would want some sort of uh, dark blue or turquoise color to kind of offset that yellow and then also play off the color that I brought in with that collect moment sentiment. So I found this take a break card. This is from a spring break collection um, by Kelly Perky. I think it was called, yeah, I think it was called spring break and that's in a font by Christine Heron. And so this is where I thought I might write in not things and stick it there, but I didn't like how my handwriting looked. I usually don't like how my handwriting looks unless I'm writing out a bunch of journaling. If I try to use it as a title, oh, it doesn't work. So I'm going through my flare now just to find, I knew that I had some travel themed flare, so I kind of played around with a couple of different ones and I went with that let's go arrow. And then I'm playing around with this stamp set also by Christine Heron. This is her travel log stamp set. And I first tried this out in yellow um, and punched it out using a one inch circle punch. But I ended up feeling like that wasn't quite enough contrast, so I stamped it in blue. And then I used a Kelly Perky um, little post-it note to use as the background. These have the days of the week written on the, on the bottom, um, but I just ended up cutting that off and then would have covered it up anyways. But I just love how that yellow and, and blue kind of offset each other. And then I'm just adhering down the things that I know are going to stay and I'm stapling those. And then I feel like I need to add one more thing. My video is going to cut off in a minute. You're not going to see the very last part of me adding something. But I did add something to the top of that adventure card. I stamped out another... Um, circle from the Christine Heron travelogue stamp set and I just added it to the top under another Kelly Perky post-it post-it note. 
Hey guys, so since my video kind of cut off there at the end, I just wanted to quickly walk through the last few details that I added onto my page. Um, I ended up taking off that label that was right here. I just didn't like my handwriting, how it looked against this title. Um, so I added in this cute little paper airplane stamp from this Feed Your Craft and Brandy Kincaid stamp set. And I stamped it using um, this yellow dye ink from Kelly Perky. And then at the top, I added one of those post-it notes that I had used down here. Um, these are Clearly Kelly post-it notes, and I just used the yellow and the turquoise one. And I stamped this circle vacation mode stamp. This is a this is the spring break stamp set by Christine Heron for Kelly Perky Shop. So those are the last few details. Sorry my video kind of cut off there at the end, but hopefully you still enjoyed this process video. And um, yeah, I will see you soon and hope you have a great day.